Mm-hmm. And when you tie it up in a bow, make sure it's a really bloody bow. <laughs> really bloody bow. That's right. <laughs> With a big shootout and maybe some poison. <laughs> Oh man. But, uh, you know, I, if you've got, uh, if you got a tragedy out there that, uh, I would like to know more like, uh, and pick up some more tragedy. So for our listeners, if you've got some out there, I'd love to have you, uh, message us, email us or and let us know someone. Cause it'd be fun to, to explore more of it the really tragedy. I mean, the really, I think they're quite few on the ground cause they are the hard to do. Um, but the, when the, when they're done right, you know, they're, they're a masterpiece. Right. Well, because I, I hadn't even thought about Savages until we were talking through this. And that book, I read it like it was, I could not put it down. Like it was written in such a way, you know, that really pulled me into the characters and kept me going, even though I knew the direction that it was headed. Yeah. I, th- I think it's because, as well, it, it says, you know, that the, um, the tragedy can be kind of seen as a, a version of the, the rebirth. And mm-hmm. it's, it's fitting because quite often just before that the character has that kind of epiphany and that realization that this is the way their life was going and they're kind of ready to accept it now and so they kind of undergo that that rebirth and that that enlightenment just before death yeah and that's that can be a really powerful moment you know when you kind of witness someone accepting fully the consequences of their actions yeah and yeah that's very powerful for the character to do that and um, as a reader, I think we can really relate to that because we want to do that. We want to be, we want to stop putting on the masks that we wear. We want to identify ourselves for who we really are, but we're so afraid to in real life, you know, because of the people that we, we have in our circles of friends and family, we're always playing this other part. And so when we can see someone who can really step up and accept themselves for who they are, I think we connect with that. Definitely. Even, and even as it usually is at the cost of everything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And so I think that, uh, that you could explore and this one here definitely, definitely is a violent type tragedy ending with this, but I think you could go in and, uh, and work a lot of, uh, of social issues into these types of tragedies. Cause we see these types of tragedies happen again and again in a lot of our social and our societal issues that are happening today. Yeah, you can really make it um, relevant to a to a, a modern audience because a lot of, you know, we've got the sort of gangster films which are just like you know the, they've got the cool factor and mm-hmm. you know everyone's interested in it and and then there's kind of like love and romance but they can be a little old and especially if you know it's going to end in like a a death or they you know they can they can be done well but it's I think there's certainly I mean. You know, if anyone knows of anything that's done anything like this, then, you know, we want to hear about it. But yeah, something with like a modern issue and breaking away from kind of the, you know, the traditional like romantic or gangster kind of tragedy. Yeah, exactly. It'd be fun to see. Thank you for listening and come back next week for more. Please visit thebookeditorshow.com for show notes, links to guests, books and extras, and for information on how to be a guest on the show.